We are hearing today from the CEO of Goldman Sachs, David Solomon, and his insights into what's to come for the U.S. economy. Yahoo Finance's Julia LaRoche met up with Solomon at Hamilton College, where she moderated a panel on driving innovation and entrepreneurship with technology. And then she got to speak with the CEO about what brought him back to his alma mater. And Julia is joining us here. Quick turnaround there from Hamilton College, but you made it. Thanks for being with us on the show. Of course, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Um, I spent about five hours with David Solomon yesterday, and he was going around to various economics classes, the Career Center, talking to students. And so when I caught up with him, I asked him, you know, what kind of economy are these students going to enter maybe one year, three years, five years, ten years, because we have a lot of automation, artificial intelligence coming. So take a listen. Okay. It's such a wonderful and formative experience uh, here on College Hill in Hamilton, and I always love coming back. I've been, you know, I've been actively engaged with the school for for a number of decades, so I'm lucky enough to get up here, you know, pretty regularly. But it's always more, it's 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 less about what I can impart on them, and more what I learn from listening to their questions and getting a sense of what's on their mind. Now, I'm sure as we talk about things, and we spent time today, and you saw in classes talking about a variety of interesting business topics, I'm sure some of the perspectives or insights I have you know, are interesting to them. But what's interesting to me is what are they asking about? And what's coming out of their you know, process of learning here that's directing them to think about some of these things? Because I think that's, that's indicative of stuff that's going on that's relevant you know, in the market and society broadly. Well, let's dig into that. What are you learning from the students? Well, I, I think there's a real fascination around technology as an agent for change in society. And you know, this speaks to disruption of businesses and change, change in the way we're going to do things on a go-forward basis, the evolution of automation and robotics and AI, certainly topics that students here are interested in inquiring about, but also the impacts on society and how it will affect the labor force, how issues around privacy are changing, you know, the way we interact and how all this in some way, shape, or form should be you know, monitored or evolved, you know, in our society so that works for everybody. Well, you know, I noticed that in the classes they were talking to you about some of these ethical issues as it relates to AI and automation and just the displacement of jobs. You are the CEO of Goldman Sachs. You're a big employer. You also um, serve a lot of clients who are CEOs of big companies as well. So when you look out in the landscape, um, what do you think is going to happen? What kind of economy will these young people be inheriting in, over the next maybe one year, five years, ten years? Well, I think I think there's going to be a lot of change and there's going to be a lot of evolution. But, uh, you know, I'm... Um, I'm a believer that you have to look forward. And I think here in the United States, we're in a great position economically. I like our competitive position on a global basis. And while there will certainly be ups and downs and ebbs and flows in the economy, generally speaking, I think they're, they're entering uh, a market environment where there's a lot of opportunity. And you know, they happen to be coming from a place where they've had great privilege to have a liberal arts education like this, where they've had an opportunity you know, to gain critical thinking skills and communication skills, which are really, really important. Um, in the educational process here at Hamilton, I think that'll serve them well in an evolving marketplace where the job opportunities are going to be different, but the opportunities are still going to be significant. So David Solomon doesn't necessarily see automation and AI taking tons of jobs at this rapid clip like we often hear. That's one of this, these big fears out there. And so we also talked about the changing nature of work and the workforce is a lot younger now. Look at Goldman Sachs. They just changed their dress code. We, of course, we of course <laughs> talked right. about that. Sure. He's DJing, how he relates to young people. So there's a lot more to dig into. Yeah, and you can all hear about it throughout the day. Julia's interview with David Solomon will be uh, highlighted throughout the day here on YahooFinance.com. Julia, thanks so much. Thank you, Alexis.